Hello everyone. So I just got back from my interview for a PA position on the TV show called Pose for the second season. Um, I was a little nervous going in just because I've never had like a formal PA interview before. Um, so I was like kind of nervous about what to expect. Um, did some prepping. I uh, posted on Yammer. I texted a couple of my PA friends who have had staff positions and kind of just was uh, looking for advice on uh, what to expect. So basically, um, everyone said that, you know, they're just... <laughs> Hello, Tuna. Uh, <laughs> everyone said that they're looking, uh, you know, for people that they can work with that will work well together and also, um, you know, work under people very well. Um, they asked, you know, what kind of experience I had, even though they all had their resume in front of me, and I brought extra copies of my resume, so make sure that you do that if you're ever finding yourself in this position, um, because they asked if anything had changed on my resume, which um, I just had, like, a couple more ADs that I worked with on, uh, on a TV show called Madam Secretary. So, um, basically, they asked um, my experience and what I'd be looking to do on the show, and uh, I have experience with background and background vouchers, and... Um, a few experiences as a first team helper, not necessarily doing the exhibit G forms, which are, you know, the actor's time cards, basically. Um, but that, you know, I'm very eager and willing to learn and that, um, you know, they suggested that when I'm day playing on TV shows to, you know, not be afraid to ask questions and ask to look at the exhibit G's or the background vouchers, which I had let them know that, you know, I was already doing that, kind of just peeking at the sheets or, you know, asking questions uh, when I found it was okay um, and felt comfortable doing so. So they're looking at my resume and they're basically, you know, see that I've been working, um, this last year, almost, you know, almost a full year. And, uh, they all agreed that I'm, you know, ready to have a staff position. And, um, basically the rest of the interview is kind of just like, you know, you're talking to friends. Like they just want to make sure that you have a good personality. You're somebody that they want to hang out with. Well, not necessarily hang out with, but somebody that they're, you know, um, prepared to spend a lot of time around. Uh, they also kind of gave me an overview about how the days would go and that they're very long days and sometimes the PAs get called uh, like three hours before the crew call and that there's a lot of prepping because, you know, there are some days where they have like 200 background actors that need all need to go through hair and makeup um, because it is like a time period piece and some of them need to get like prosthetics on their face for, you know, um, you know, whatever hospital scenes and whatnot. Um, you know, and I told them that I'm fully prepared, you know, I know what I'm getting myself into and, um, you know, I'm excited to work and I'm excited to learn more and grow more and that I'm, you know, ready uh, to have a staff position. And then they asked me like uh, what I want to do in the long run. And, um, you know, I told them that I didn't really think that I wanted to do AD until I had like my key PA position and almost every department head was like, you'd make a great AD. So, you know, I mentioned that story and my key experience. Uh, they asked me how many people I've had under me or had to hire. Um, they were impressed, or what? from what I could tell, I thought that they were impressed with my answers, that I had, you know, seven to ten people under me, and that uh, sometimes I would have to hire people on the fly by going on, um, you know, Facebook and, and writing, uh, you know, a little post on um, a Facebook group, and... Um, you know, just having a small interview on the phone, just being like, okay, you know, your experience is great. Let me, uh, let me get you to talk to the UPM. And if they like you, then we'll hire you for the next couple of days, yada, yada, whenever we needed extra people. So, um, so yeah, it was a good, you know, quick 10 minute conversation. Um, all the ADs were really engaged. I had worked with three out of the four of them interviewing me. One of them I had only worked with one day, so I'm not sure if she recognized me. But, um, you know, the show that I worked on was on my resume, so she definitely knows, you know, they all know people uh, that I've worked with. And um, the only thing that I was a little nervous about was seeing uh, so many other PAs there, like going in for their interview. Of course, we all interviewed individually, uh, but as we're all waiting, you know, I saw... I don't know, four people that I knew from different shows. And uh, I know a couple other people that were, you know, had interviews later than me. Um, but it seems like it's going to be a really decent sized crew. So, you know, fingers crossed I get it. I don't know when they're making decisions, but uh, I'm eager to find out how I did. And I guess, um, you know, I, I think a couple things that I want to do, you know, within the next couple of days are to reach out to all of them and thank them for seeing me. I think that'll be a good uh, 
good little reminder that I uh, follow through and I'm um, doing my thing. And, um, you know, I hope it works out for me. And if it doesn't, then, you know, ask them for some feedback of, you know, maybe what I could what have what I could have said or prepared for better um, things like that. Um, and even if it doesn't end up working out, you know, I know a lot of people and I could always day play on the show or ask if they know anybody that's filming. And, you know, it's it just because, you know, knock on wood. But if it doesn't work out, there's a million other opportunities there for me. So, yeah, that's it. All right. Cool. Bye.